Hi, I'm Shayna from Shotgun Software. Welcome to the Shotgun Producers Training Series. I'm going to assume you're a producer either new or experienced in Shotgun who would like to learn about advanced scheduling and tracking. If you're more experienced, this series may be a good refresher and will provide some guidance on best practices that can improve how you use Shotgun. Throughout the series, I'll be prioritizing animation, VFX, and sequential-based work within a project called Signal. However, I'll be drawing parallels to other workflows like episodic, commercial, and games. In this course, we'll be covering five main areas. Creation, tracking, tracking and reporting, collaboration, and project completion. Each of these areas will be broken down into the following topics as they pertain to our roles as producers and coordinators. Before we go deeper, let's refresh ourselves on some of the basics. First, let's think about how our project can be structured so that we can determine our workflow since the first question we'll need to answer is, what is our workflow? To figure this out, let's break this down to, how does our project start? What's the first thing that happens? Who are the key players? How does the data and information come in? How will it deliver? And what do I spend a lot of time doing repeatedly? Having an understanding of these questions will help us set up Shotgun the right way in the beginning, and will also help guide us as we evolve our workflow. Let's start with a diagram of how information flows through our studio on the VFX project we are working on called Signal. First, let's organize how information flows in the Signal project. Then we can start mapping the information together from a high level. Our project, Signal, is a VFX sequence-based film with shots as deliverables. Our shots will be organized into sequences, and assets will be incorporated into shots. For each shot and asset, a set of tasks need to be completed. For each task, time needs to be logged so that we can track our bids versus actuals. Standard built-in templates are available to us in Shotgun. If we're not sure how to map our workflow, we can always start with one of these pre-existing templates and experiment. Though the film template was a good fit for our signal project, there are other templates better suited for other types of workflows. For instance, if we're working on a commercial, our workflow may look something like this. Likewise, if we have an episodic workflow, our diagram may look something like this. And if we're working on a game, our workflow may reflect something closer to this. The sky's the limit since, remember, all templates are customizable and can be used as templates for future work. Pretty simple so far, right? Well, good news, not only have you learned how data is organized, but you've also inadvertently learned the organization of what we call entities. A shot is an entity, a sequence is an entity, an asset is an entity, a level, an episode, a task, time log, and how we've organized these entities refers to our shotgun schema. A typical sequence-based schema and hierarchy looks something like this, where the project entity is the container for all of the information tracked for a specific project and sequences, shots, assets fall underneath those, and tasks, versions, and notes thereafter. A typical episodic schema and hierarchy will differ a little it may look something like this, where the project is still the container for all the information tracked, but seasons contain all episodic information, episodes contain sequences, and then sequences contain the shots, and so on. We'll be tracking all of the information pertaining to each of these entity types by using shotgun fields. Think about it in Excel terms. An entity type is the name of our Excel sheet. Each sheet contains a table of rows and columns. Rows represent the records, or individual entity names we'll be tracking, while column headers contain the information specific to what we'll need to track on each of those entities. In each table, there's a set of cells where the trackable data lives. Remember, if you're customizing a new project, it's much easier to add more detail to your workflow as you need it instead of removing detail from it later. So make sure to start off simple and add things as you go, rather than creating all the things earlier on. 
This tip, as well as some other best practices to follow, can be found on our support site and are worth checking out. Before we move on to account settings, it's important to understand that each user in Shotgun can be assigned to a permission-based role. This means that if an admin has already created a Shotgun account for you, you are likely already assigned to a producer-manager-based permission role. Depending on the permission role specifics, you may or may not have access to some of the functionality that we cover in this video training series. Permission roles vary per site, so you may need to discuss the permission implications of your role further with your Shotgun site admin if you discover you don't have the keys to specific functionality you need to get your job done. For instance, Shotgun allows you to assume another user's identity, which is great because you can see what things look like for the people that you're producing, but this feature may not be enabled for your role by default.